It's Sunday and we're barbecuing and I'm gonna make a tri-tip and just take it up a notch. I grew up eating tri-tip and seasoning it with Pappy's cooking it Santa Maria style and we're gonna mix that with a Brazilian style in a similar way that they cook pequena. So I'm going to season this with Pappy's and also top it with a puree of garlic, onions, and olive oil and that's going to sit on the counter while the meat comes to room temperature. So I'm gonna get all my ingredients together and show you and then once I barbecue it, we'll pull it off, show you the temperature, and then it comes out perfect medium rare in the middle and the taste is over the top. I'll be back. All right, let's season this tri-tip. So I just have a regular tri-tip. I was a little sad because normally it comes untrimmed with a heavy fat cap at the bottom, which is lots of flavor, but our butcher got, um, he got into it with his knife. So this doesn't have enough fat layer for me. Um, if you can get an untrimmed tri-tip, that's always my first choice. But I ordered my groceries this time and this is what happened. So it's okay. It'll be fine. Um, tri-tip is something Santa Maria style. It's typically just seasoned with pappies, which I actually have to order and have delivered here because I can't get it. Um, so first what I'm going to do is what everyone does typically when you make a Santa Maria style tri-tip and I'm just going to generously season my tri-tip. I just pulled this tri-tip out of the refrigerator and it's almost two o'clock. I pulled it out because what I want to do is let it sit in this seasoning and I'm seasoning it very heavily. Um, I want it to sit, I want it to come to room temperature and I want all the salt in this pappies to really soak in and tenderize. So don't be shy about salting it because it really will sort of uh, marinate, I'm sorry, not salt the pappies. It'll really give it kind of a marinated uh, taste if you let it sit in this pappies and come to room temperature. So I want to make sure that this is heavily rubbed first. Now, uh, where I'm doing something a little bit different, and if you've ever had barbecue at our house, you know we take it seriously. So um, I love Brazilian food, and pequena is my favorite, which is their sirloin. So I started doing some digging around for a pequena recipe, and I found out that it's a very similar cut to tri-tip and I've cooked it a couple of times and I love it, but half of the cut is much more um, tough than the other. So I started messing with cooking tri-tip more of a pequena style, so this is a 50-50. So this is a mixture of a half of a white onion and two cloves of garlic that I put into my food processor with some olive oil just to kind of marinate it down into a thick paste texture and actually what I did was a whole onion and four cloves of garlic pureed it and then I took half and put it in my freezer so today all I had to do was pull half of my mixture out uh, thaw it out by running it under in a, in a baggie under some hot water just to break it up and thaw it out and I already have my onion garlic olive oil mixture ready to go so I'm just gonna heavily paint it on here with a pastry brush until the meat's completely covered. And once this is completely covered, I'm just going to tap a little bit more pappies right over the top of this so there's some salt and seasonings um, so that it seeps into the meat while this comes to room temperature for at least three hours. Uh, on a perfect day, I like to get up early and leave it sit on the counter for about six or seven hours, but three is the minimum. So that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm just going to take a little bit of pappies. So when you get ready to cook this, you can cook it on the barbecue. If you're going to cook it on the barbecue, I always recommend that you use charcoal. Cook it on direct heat on, for eight minutes on each side, then move it over to indirect heat and cook it for about about five minutes on each side and keep watching it. We like our tri-tip rare in the middle because if you cook it rare in the middle, it'll go medium rare, medium, medium well, and you'll have well done ends and that, uh, that serves every appetite. Medi I'm sorry, rare is 120 degrees. So I will cook this on the barbecue until it reaches 115 degrees, pull it off and let it rest for about seven to 10 minutes and it will rest perfectly rare. If you are not a barbecue person, you can also do this in the oven and it's awesome. If you do it on your stove top, you follow this exact seasoning. You grab a, hopefully a cast iron skillet, but a skillet that's, that will get good and hot for you. Get this, uh, brown it on both sides, about five minutes on each side on a really high heat and then put it in the oven at 400 degrees for about 12 minutes and same temperature guide. If you want yours rare in the middle, cook it to 115, pull it out and let it rest for seven to 10 minutes. If you like your meat more done, 
look up a red meat guide and just pull your meat five degrees before the desired temperature. The one thing I didn't mention is right before you cook this, what you want to do is take your pastry brush and you just want to take all of this garlic onion mixture and you want to brush it off to the side and essentially just dump it. If you leave it on, it will burn and it will be too much. Um, so it's good just as a marinade and a flavoring. So I'm just going to post this video as a part one so that if you want to make a tri-tip tonight or a big piece of beef or sirloin and try this, I'm sure it would be delicious with any sirloin. Um, season it up, let me know how it goes, and then I will post a part two tonight after we pull ours off of the barbecue. Good luck with your tri-tip. I forgot something. If you're going to barbecue your tri-tip, make sure that you get your barbecue up to 450 degrees before you put the meat on direct heat. And when I say direct heat, make sure that you stack your coals, light them, and you put your tri-tip directly over the coals. When I say indirect heat, you want to make sure that you leave a section of your barbecue open where the coals uh, are not. And that way, when you flip your tri-tip to an indirect spot, you have a grill without hot coals underneath. So 450 degrees on the barbecue and then 400 in the oven. Good luck.